in increasingly interconnected global world, international trade is an essential element in a country's economic growth. However, to maintain uh, the sustainability of the domestic economy, maintain sovereignty, and protect domestic industry, steps related to import uh, restrictions are often required. The import restriction policy issued by the Minister of Finance Sri Mulyani and the Minister of Trade Zul Kifli Hassan has many pros and cons. In this short speech, Ms. Riana Mlati Suci will explain why government regulation in import restriction policy are worth supporting and how this help uh, realize healthy economic growth. Alright, first of all, this policy aims to protect domestic industry. By limiting the number of imported uh, goods, the domestic industry has more excellent development opportunities which can increase the competitiveness uh, and ability of local business to compete uh, in the domestic market. Uh, furthermore, this policy can support domestic economic growth. By limiting imports, uh, local products have a more significant opportunity to dominate the market. And this will encourage the development of the domestic industrial sector and create jobs, which in turn will have a positive impact on overall economic growth. It is also important uh, to note that import restriction policies can help create economic independence. By reducing dependence uh, on imports, countries can increase their ability to meet basic needs such as food, energy, and raw materials. This can reduce the risk of supply disruption from abroad, which could affect uh, economic stability. Furthermore, um, this policy can also generate additional income for the government by imposing tariff and that is on imported goods, the government can collect taxes that can be used to support various development and social program. This additional revenue can be used to improve public service and infrastructure. The import restriction policy also improves current custom and taxation provision. This provides a legal certainty to business and eliminates ambiguity in custom, access, and taxation process. Uh, relate to the import and export of consigned goods. This will make it easier for companies to understand and comply with regulation, which can increase business compliance uh, with laws. And lastly, this policy can protect micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, it is uh, often needed more research to compete with larger and stronger important product uh, import restriction give them more opportunities to grow and develop in the domestic market so uh, in closing we can conclude that the import restriction policy issued by the minister of finance Sri Mulyani has several pros that must be considered. It protects the domestic industry, support economic growth, creates financial independence, generate uh, additional revenue for the government, provide legal certainty, and protects micro, small, and medium enterprises. That's my opinion on this policy. Thank you.